Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Bonifer, and today we're gonna to dive in to the Samsung Tab S8 Ultra. This tablet is monstrous, it's huge, and a lot of the different YouTube uh, influencers and review guys out there, and gals for that matter, are talking about this tablet and how it can be used for entertainment value, game playing, and all those things. But if you're gonna unload some serious dough on a tablet like this, and you're a professional like myself, you want to know how to use this for productivity. And today, guys, I'm gonna show you how you can use this tablet for productivity, for digital note taking, and for how you can get a return from your investment. And to the one guy in Reddit, you might just be able to convince your girlfriend it was a good purchase. Well guys, thank you for sticking around through the intro. Today we're gonna to unpack how to use this tablet as well as using some of the earlier edition Samsung tabs and even some of the editions that are a little bit smaller in the new lineup. This content will be valuable for those of you that are looking for productivity as well as learning how to do digital note taking and daily planning with these devices. Today we're gonna to focus on three applications that I like, OneNote, Note Shelf, and Samsung Notes. Now, yes, that is right, I said Samsung Notes. If you would've asked me a year or two ago, I would've been like, ah, Samsung Notes, don't even look at it. But guys, I've had a new appreciation for this uh, application, especially when you pair it up with the Fold or the S22 that just came out. Ugh. It's awesome, and we're gonna get into that, so you're gonna wanna stay through because there's some great companion options that you're gonna wanna see. But first and foremost, let's talk about OneNote. OneNote is an application that I really enjoy because it's universal across several different platforms. Yes, if you are a Windows user, if you have a Surface Dual, if you have a Surface Pro, if you have an Apple iPad or a Macintosh computer, and you want your notes to sync systematically, this application is gonna work great for that. Now, the experience on the Android software, the OneNote, I'll be honest, is a little light, but it still has all the basic productivity tools that you need for digital planning. In this video up here, you can learn about how to use OneNote in depth. I'm gonna show you a little bit today, but if you wanna learn a lot, check out that video. I guarantee you it's worth a few minutes of your time. But what's also really nice about this platform on OneNote, on the Samsung 8 is this real estate of space. I can go pretty wide with this and have tons of space. I can go in here, I can choose a tool, I can write a note, so we're gonna write a note. I can go ahead and I can quickly highlight that note. If I wanna select that note, I can do so. Make it bigger or smaller, I can move it wherever I want. And with the planning system and with note taking, you really have the ability to do a lot of things. In one of our videos, we recently showed you how to take this written note and convert it to text. Yes, 12 tips that are gonna unpack your productivity tools at OneNote is gonna be in the description. It's gonna show you how to convert this handwritten note to text off your desktop computer. And that's a beautiful part about OneNote because it syncs across so many different platforms. There are so many different tools that are in other versions of the application that you can really use. But you still have the ability to do things like inserting pictures, if you wanna insert a picture, audio, if you have an attachment, if you wanna do some tagging, you can do that. Um, and the navigation is pretty slick too. I can go into here, I can also type in the planner. So let's just say I wanna type a note in here. I can type a note just like so. And I can navigate throughout my system. I can see all my recent notes over here, and I can also go through uh, any part of the notebook or other notebooks and easily get through the functionality of note taking with this. Now, like I said, OneNote is available across several different platforms. However, it's not the only note taking application for the S8 Ultra. We can go back here, we're gonna jump into Note Shelf. Now, Note Shelf here is a PDF annotation app, meaning that it has the ability to use hyperlinks. So I can go in here and click on any one of these months, and I can quickly jump from one month to the next. If I wanna to get to a particular date, say I wanna to get to the 23rd of February, I can do so, and I'll jump right to that. Now, what we did with this annotation app is we made it so that you had the ability to customize it and use it to index your notes meeting the project. So if I go to this key page, I can see down here I have today's notes. I can click on the one, it'll take me to this page, and I can begin to write a note after selecting my pen choice. I'm gonna select black, select the thickness, and go ahead and write a 
note. Again, I have the ability to go in here and choose to highlight that if I would so wish to. I have to choose in the highlighter. I can do that. I can also still have the same functionality of selecting that note and moving it however I want it. And there's other commands as well. I can go ahead and resize it. I can delete it. I can even change it to text. And I'm gonna convert, write a note. So that is one of the cool things about this application. It kept the highlight that I had with it, but it took the text and converted it to a note. So if you're someone that is doing a lot of note taking, but yet you wanna be able to convert that to text, and maybe you wanna even copy it to a clipboard, that's really a cool feature as well. So I'm gonna say Tom, Tom likes to fish. I can go ahead and I can select that, convert the text, and I could even hit copy to clipboard. And what this is gonna allow me to do is I could go into an email, I could go into another application, and then paste that written text uh, into that application. So that's a cool feature as well. And you can see it just copied the text. And again, it can convert it to text for us just as easily. So that's one thing that's really powerful about Note Shelf. It's a pretty simple app. It does have the ability to sync across platforms. So if you wanna sync this to your other devices, you can easily jump on like your Samsung S20 as you've seen in our previous video and synchronize those notes and be able to have those two devices or any Samsung uh, device for that matter talking to each other. Uh, the big thing though is the hyperlinks being able to jump in and navigate to different areas of the planning system or any notes that you're taking. Next up on the deck is Samsung Notes. So Samsung Notes is been around for a little bit but it's not something that's really interests me until recently. And that's because I didn't feel that there was a lot of integration between the different devices and I didn't feel that tools uh, were that much different than any other note taking app that I was working with. And a lot of times on a phone, I just didn't feel like it had a purpose or a place. But now I think it really does. The first thing I'm gonna show you, I think is this really astonishing. I'm gonna power up my S22 here get into it and I'm gonna go ahead and open up Samsung Notes on this device. Open up the planner. And now I'm in the planning system here. As you can see, I have the ability still to do all the navigation like we did before. I can get to a particular day and show my notes. A couple things that make it really unique. I can go into typing here and I have all my type tools up here. So first thing is writing. So I can go ahead and I can select a different pen to write with, different thickness, different color. I can even choose to have a favorite and I can write a note. Now, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a little sound that comes up. Um, that's really kind of interesting. I'll try to hear it. Uh, just kind of adds a little something to it. Uh, I can go ahead and I can erase tool. I have the ability to select either to erase by a stroke or erase an area. I have the ability to highlight. I can choose different thicknesses. I can even choose different opacities. So I can go here into yellow and I can make it darker. So I could go like that. Or I could choose to make the opacity lighter, as you can see here. That is, I think, a very pivotal feature that doesn't exist on a lot of other note-taking apps. I personally like being able to change the opacity because if I have different backgrounds or if I'm marking up a PDF file that has different colors on it, uh, this here to me is, is a, an added value. Uh, and then I have the ability to go ahead and erase just as easy. All right, now how do you go ahead and type in Samsung Notes? Well, first what you wanna do is select your type button and then click and hold on the screen and hit add a text box. This will bring up the text box and you can resize that text box. You can even turn that text box if you so wish and you can see real close that there, it even gives you a degree if you wanna type at an angle. But we're gonna type at zero and you can go ahead and use the keyboard to type. If you have the keyboard, you can see that this typing experience is even better yet. Having that full scale keyboard with the Samsung Tab 8 Ultra really does make this device a grab and go, an everyday computer like tablet. You can quickly type notes just as easy as if you were to handwrite them or be like even on a laptop for that matter. But what happens if we want to write our notes with our stylus, but have them convert the type? So we'll go ahead and we'll just type in here and we'll tip and we'll click on S Pen to type. And now what we can do is, I'm gonna hit the space bar here, I'm gonna minimize this, and I'm gonna write fish 
to night. And you can see that that handwritten note with the S Pen turns into type. To me, I think that's huge because a lot of times as we're going ahead and we're dictating stuff, maybe we're dictating across the screen. So I want to put in here the cheese curds were amazing. I mean, really, we're from Wisconsin, so of course they're amazing, right? I mean, why would you even question that? I shouldn't have to write a note. But I did. Now you can see from here, it did a fairly decent job. Obviously, we can probably go in here and change that up a little bit. Maybe you need to go ahead and add some punctuation from time to time. And furthermore, up here you see this little short dialog box. We can go ahead and hit space. Uh, and then we can keep writing. And for my quick, fast handwriting, it does a pretty fabulous job. Other tools we showed you before was the highlighter. You have the ability to use indent. You can change your color, set up favorites. Now this is where it gets exciting. I can go ahead and take my S22 out. I can go ahead and click on this little guy right here. And you're gonna see over here, all my tools showed up on this device. Now, I'm right-handed, so I don't wanna go across the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my highlighter button and I'm gonna change it, the opacity up a little bit. I'm gonna go to blue, and I'm gonna come over here and highlight there. I'm gonna change the yellow real quick, and highlight there, and the responsiveness is just absolutely amazing. I can go ahead here, I'm gonna to change to pen, make it thicker, I'm gonna change this to yellow, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull here. Now what happened if I wanna get into note taking? I'm gonna go with my quick tool here, go to black, and I'm gonna say meet, Make that a little smaller. Meeting with Sam. So we go for an hour. I'm gonna quickly highlight that in yellow, bring the opacity down. And I can quickly throw a highlight stroke in there to show where I'm meeting, when I'm meeting, and such. So if I wanna navigate through the planner, I'm just gonna turn that off, click on the little book icon, and now I can quickly navigate through the planning system and get to whatever page I want to go to. I'm gonna go ahead and jump back to my notes. I can do that. I can go ahead and turn this off, turn on my phone, go ahead and highlight. We're gonna do red this, uh, orange this time, dark opacity, and we're gonna highlight travel to Northern Wisconsin. So that is a quick look at Samsung Notes on a beast of a tablet like this. We are gonna do a full deep dive video on how you guys can use Samsung Notes across this device and any Samsung device in the near future. So if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel. There's going to be more to unpack with Samsung Notes. I'm really ecstatic with what they're doing with this particular application as a native application on Samsung's phones and tablets. Now, as you're watching this video, the, probably the question that's coming up most to you is which Note application is best for you? And I'm gonna sum it up real quick. If you are using your Notes and you wanna be able to sync those across various platforms, I highly recommend using OneNote. Even though on the Android operating system, the application is, is scaled back a little bit, you still have all the great features that OneNote provides across your desktop application. You can easily sync your notes and bring them to Windows, Apple, to the iPad, to other Android devices. So if that's something that is important to you, highly recommend OneNote. Now, if you want to be able to maximize your note-taking experience just within the Samsung, um, ecosystem, I really think Samsung Notes is the way to go. Uh, there is so much in that application that you guys can use from being able to handwrite, to be able to select, highlight, and even that type to text feature is absolutely amazing. So that is my advice for you. Now with all these applications, questions will commonly come up, well how do I add pages? How do I import my own documents? And those are all things you can do and we have a series of videos on that. So guys, go ahead, check out the description to answer those questions that you have about those particular features. So that's it guys, that is Samsung's newest lineup of the Tab Series, the S8 Ultra. Now there is a couple other additions, but today we are focusing on the big monster, of course, because we feel that that is the one that's gonna give you the most screen space for doing that side by side, that note taking, for going ahead and checking your email, writing down those notes, plugging in the information that matters most to you as you guys move forward in your professional career. And heck, 
why not watch some YouTube, especially our channel, uh, while you're doing all those great things. It is and has some entertainment value. Guys, if you got one thing out of this video today, do me a favor, hit that like button and share with the family, your community, our friends and neighbors on what we're doing. And if you wanna learn more about tech reviews, digital planning, entrepreneur ideas, hit the subscribe button. We'll be happy to have you in the club. Guys, if you have questions, hit the comments. Someone in our community or myself will definitely reach back out to you. With all that said, thank you for joining. I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Keach Success Planning System. And God willing, we will see each other on the next one. God bless each and every one of you. Until later. Wow, we got it. Bow chicka wow wow. Bow chicka wow wow. Woo! That probably peaked on the old dial. I'm back with a brand new edition, one you don't have to pay commission. Come on, everybody, join the fun. Here we're gonna hit you with some, I don't know. Hey everyone, I'm Brandon Bonifer, and welcome to another stellar video. Today, we are gonna dive in to the Samsung S Tab 8 Ultra. And I said all that wrong. It's a tab.